It all started back in 2013, when me and my friend and his parents went on a cruise ship to celebrate his 13th birthday party. I was 14. My parents couldn't come because they were attending a wedding in California. We were going to catch a cruise ship from Florida to Puerto Rico, as we were Americans from Wisconsin and lived in Florida, and my friend's family was actually from Puerto Rico. Once we got on the cruise ship, we settled into our rooms and went to dinner that night in the cruise ship dining hall. My friend and I went back to our room. On our way there, we noticed a creepy man in the dark corner of the corridor. When he noticed us, he smiled in a creepy way, and we went to our rooms frightened. I had fallen asleep and realized his parents still weren't home, and there was someone knocking at the door. His parents finally arrived, so I woke my friend up because I wanted him to come with me to the dining hall to get some water. It was around 3 a.m. Suddenly we heard some footsteps behind us in the dark cruise ship's dining hall, and we noticed the same man coming towards us with a knife in the most brutal smile on his face. He started running towards us, but I couldn't move. I was frozen in fear. Just in the nick of time, my friend smashed a glass bottle over his head and he passed out. We rushed back to our rooms and told my friend's parents about what happened. They locked us in our room for our own safety and then went to the security room to explain everything. The man was lying there on the floor and they managed to arrest him. It turns out he was a serial killer that loved to kill people, especially children. It turns out that he also threw the bodies of the children that he killed overboard in his previous travels on cruise ships. He also had a fake identity. When we came back to the U.S., we heard the news that the man got sentenced to life in prison and that he could get the death penalty at any time. We are never going to catch a cruise ship again for our own good. This story happened in 2015. I used to live in an apartment complex in Kansas City, Missouri. The place was kind of in the hood. The people there would sit and smoke weed in front of the building and do drug deals in broad daylight. Nobody cared about anything and the management ignored all of the issues going on there. Other than that, it was like any other apartment complex. One day that all changed, however. The complex had a pool that all the residents would use. It was a decently sized pool and it was next to the gym. It was a hot day in the summer so I went to the pool with my mom. We got to the pool and we sat down with our towels and we got ready to swim. We started swimming when all of a sudden we hear some kids saying, Oh my God, it's got a gun! At first, I thought they were just messing around and talking about a water gun or something. But I quickly realized that they weren't joking. Then I heard two men arguing. I looked over at the edge of the pool to see a man with a gun following another man to his car. I didn't really understand what they were arguing about and yelling about. All of a sudden, I hear two gunshots. I had an instant panic attack, and I thought we were all going to die. So I hopped out of the water and I ran for my life. My mom and I hauled ass out of the pool and I called my dad to open the door to our apartment. We get inside and I start breaking down because at the same time, I'm only 13 years old and I've never experienced something like this. The police arrive and tell us that the guy with the guns shot the other man because he stole drugs from him. The man survived because the bullets grazed his ear and just barely missed his head. This experience scarred me for a little bit and it caused me to have anxiety whenever I go into a public place. My family ended up moving out of this apartment and buying a house in a different town. This experience really showed me that anything could happen at any time. 